Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Stacy with me. Shalom. And in today's class, we're talking about Jacob's trouble. Yeah, we're talking about Israel, we're talking about Jacob's trouble, and we're finding out a very few interesting things that I didn't know about. Our father actually gave me a revelation today dealing with Jacob's trouble, and in this video, I believe we're going to prove that we're actually already in Jacob's trouble, if not at the very end of Jacob's trouble. Well, I can't wait to hear it, so... Let's go. Speaking of hearing it, I've got to mention, guys, the, the audio quality of this video is very poor. It is after this video that we're actually considering buying a microphone, and you'll find out why. And that reminds me, guys, we want to thank you guys for all that you're doing to support this channel. We really appreciate what all of you guys have done. And I can't wait to um, hear Coach's voice on the new microphone. But... You have to suffer with the old one here. You're going to hear some times when it's hard to hear Stacy's voice because of the microphone that we used. Uh, in fact, I almost didn't publish the video, but I didn't think we could actually recreate it with all of the information involved. So we're just going to put it up as it is. So you're just going to have to bear with us. And I am sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's not your fault. But one last thing I say that it starts off talking about our testimony and then at about 11 minutes is when we get into the biblical proof that we're actually already in Jacob's trouble. So stay tuned. Shalom. Go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here. You got Stacy with me. Shalom. And today's class we're talking about Jacob's trouble. Okay. What you know about Jacob's trouble, Stacy? Um, I don't know a lot about it. I've heard, um, well, I've heard you mention it. I've heard uh, other people talk about it. That is for certain people, um, it's for everybody. So let's hear about it. All right. Well, let me see. Now, I'm wondering if I shouldn't go over here and get some of these verses that you're talking about, like Jeremiah chapter 30, that talks about Jacob's trouble. And there's a few other verses that talk about Jacob's trouble. We are going to pull one out here, and that's uh, the Messiah in Matthew chapter 24. But I think everybody knows what Jacob's trouble is, right? You got an idea. Mm -hmm. an idea. Maybe they haven't heard my thoughts on Jacob's trouble. Maybe not. Well, let's express those in a minute or less. Okay. Jacob's trouble is when Jacob, who is all a man, the 12 nations, goes through a certain trouble that actually makes him convert over to spirit to to israel to spiritual israel just like it did back there when uh, jacob was uh going back and forth between canaan and his uncle's house and his name was changed to israel right. he was in trouble mm -hmm. well we're going to go through a similar trouble that's going to take us from being jacob a regular old dude mm -hmm. to israel who is dependent on a father for our clothing and our food. Right. right. All right. But the question of this video is, are we in Jacob's trouble? Mm, I would say we're not because we're more so dependent on um, the world more so than the father for not only for our shelter and our uh, raiment, but for everything. Who do you say we? Well, I'm talking about people in general. No, I thought you was including me. No, I'm just talking about most people. Because I don't do that. Right. I'll take offense to that. I, I actually am 90% uh, more dependent on him for my clothing and for my food. Maybe not so much for my, my clothing. I give you a whole lot of credit for my clothing. I give you credit for the food, too. But the thing is... Well, I give the father credit. For that's that. what I was about to say next. You may be cooking the food, but where the food coming from? Yeah, he definitely makes it grow. You might be washing the clothes, but where the clothes came from? He definitely points me in the right direction to hit those thrift stores. <laughs> so, so you know, but, you know, we ain't, like I said, we, in the, in the other, we ain't no better than nobody else. We used to be at the point where we were um, actually um, um, dependent on the world not too long ago. Right. right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, well, let me ask you this. So you're saying... That, and I'm and I'm gonna let you go because I hear your visitor coming. We said that Jacob's trouble takes it, Jacob to Israel. Right. So did you go through a trouble that changed you from Jacob, who you were in 2013, 2014, 2012? Was there a trouble that transformed you into Israel? Yes. 
We're going to let you talk about that when we come back. Okay. We'll see about you come. All right, y'all. As you can see, it's busy around here. It's, no, it's a normal day, but I'm trying my best to get this video out. I normally like to put my videos, my information, when the Lord gives me something, I like to put it in video format as quickly as possible. For one reason is that I don't want it to get away and I don't want it to lose it. You know, you whole sit there and act like it's not important and you don't write stuff down. Next thing you know, you don't completely forgot about it. This is my way of writing stuff down. Another thing is I want to document the date. Today is June the 27th. This is the day of, what's the day? Uh, the day after the Pentecost. Yeah, this is the 16th day of the third month. We just had the Sabbath day yesterday and the Pentecost the day before that. This is the 16th day of the third month, and the Lord has hit me with the biggest revelation yet. Thought about Jacob's trouble. But anyway, you want to talk about how you went from being Jacob to Israel? You're saying, what What was the question now? You're asking me how did I have a Jacob's trouble, trouble moment? I am saying, and this ain't the point of this video, I'm trying to get on with it. I am, my, my what I said a few minutes ago, my premise is that Jacob's trouble, what that means is that you're taking a regular person, a Jacob individual, and you are transforming them into Israel, who is the people who are actually going to survive the tribulation. I'm saying that it happened to Jacob by way of trouble. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying it happens to everybody by way of that trouble. And then we even gave the example of my own personal life. We didn't go into detail on that's what you were supposed to have been doing, going into detail on how you went from a Jacob individual where you had wealth, you had the things of the world, you really didn't care mm -hmm. in 2013, 2014. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, now from 2013 to these seven years later, 2021, you have gone from Jacob to Israel. Right. What caused that? Um, what caused it was, um, was the Third Testament, I believe. <laughs> You just you just found out about the third testament and and okay, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> because I'm getting it all wrong. You're getting it absolutely all wrong. In 2013, 2014, you was in the in the B system completely, doing everything that the B system did. Um you you even down to going to churches and believing in church doctrine. Mm -hmm. But you, you you believed in the rapture in 2014, 2013. Obviously. But it was when you started Obeying the law that a trouble came up on you by way of your family, my family and friends. Ain't you? I, I'm I'm kind of surprised you don't even you don't realize we've been in trouble for these seven years. It has been nothing but trouble. I don't, no, I don't. I don't no, I'm not saying that we we haven't been in trouble. I'm saying I thought you were asking me, do I remember? What caused it? What was the, I guess, catalyst to to get us on that road? And Maybe you're looking for a solid day. You're looking for an individual day and say, this is the day that it changed. No, it's been over a seven year period okay. that we have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. It started with my mama on Thanksgiving with a Christmas tree, I believe. Mm -hmm. and I remember that, but I, I just can't know that it anything was going on before then any troubles going on before then no that was 2014 it wasn't until 2015 that i started talking to your parents about passover and all of a sudden they they made they they started calling me a demon and treating me like a demon yeah they liked you before they liked me they absolutely liked me before but when i started telling them about passover what happened They start calling and treat, they start telling the whole, they went up and down the street to the entire neighborhood telling them, don't listen to me because I was a Muslim. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely included the word Muslim. Because I didn't eat pork. But um, it was just a whole lot. That was, Jack, that was uh, wintertime or be, in the beginning of 2015. And it was 2014 that, you know, like I said, we had the big powwow with the Christmas tree and we decided to get Christmas out of our life. 
And so that's when it started, when we started keeping the law and obeying it and, and keep it and doing what the scripture said, do it started with my, with me and then my mama and then your mama and then everybody else in our family to the point where right now today, I bet you 75 to 80 percent of our family won't even answer the phone if you call them right now. Yeah, they they have distanced themselves from us. And half of them has tried to either have us prosecuted or hospitalized. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy, but yeah, that's true. We have and been I have our children taken away from us. We have been in nothing but trouble ever since the day we decided to do what? Start following the law. Start following and keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. Ever since then, we life. I mean, when we're here by ourselves, like it is now, and nobody you don't, you don't hit nobody inside of our gates, everything's fine. Well, I can't even say that because you and I went through trouble. Yeah, we did. Going fighting each other. Yeah, that was a point of the time that I wanted you to get out, but you wouldn't leave. Because it's my <laughs> damn house and I ain't got to go nowhere. <laughs> and, and that's part. And see, that's the thing. That's the thing. It was through that trouble <laughs> that we ended up getting this land. Yeah. Because before that, we was what? Living on other people's land, paying rent and other people's property. Mm -hmm. But it, it had no intention on getting our own land. But we was actually forced to. And so now, because of that trouble that they gave us, now we have our own land. Mm -hmm. We grow our own food. And can't nobody tell us nothing. We have been transformed from Jacob to Israel. Yeah. We are Israel now. I would like to hope so. It, well, I, well, okay, you can keep hoping. But I know I'm Israel <laughs> in at least three different kinds of ways I can name how I'm Israel. I believe you. And all of this has transpired since 2014, since we started trying to keep the law and the covenant. So you're going to scare people away. They're going to be like, OK, once I start keep trying to keep the law and the covenant, OK, now my family's going to distance themselves from me. I'm going to become you poor. You got to act like, you know, I'm going to become poor. You got to act uh, like you got this What's about to happen. Yeah, they <laughs> run if you want to. That's what's wrong with the 7.5 billion people in the world. That's why they don't want nothing to do with the father because of the angel of punishment is bringing this kind of stuff right here. You about to go through it. Yeah. Soon as you soon as you say, you know, you want to you want to live in the kingdom of heaven. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Anybody can just go to the kingdom of heaven. Right. No, not if not. No, you wouldn't have it that way. If it was your kingdom, you wouldn't let anybody in there. No, and, uh, or you know. So the point is, all of this that we've talked about so far, and I don't know if this is going to make it in the video or not, but we have gone through Jacob's trouble. We have gone through the trouble that changed us from Jacob to Israel. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that that's what Jacob's trouble means for everybody. Everybody that's going to be Israel at the end of the day has to go through a trouble that gets them there. Mm -hmm. Now let's get big picture. It's all of the world. In Jacob's trouble. You ask me that? Yeah, that's the premise of this video. Switching gears and talking about what we're supposed to be talking about here on. Your question was Is all of the world in Jacob's trouble? Are we in Jacob's trouble? Look at all them threes down there 6, 27, 21. Um, I don't know. Explain. Explain what you're. I don't want to answer any more questions because I'm the one that got us into Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Now, let, let's go. Let's look at. Uh, da, 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 da. Where you want to look at first, Matthew or Daniel? Daniel. All right, we're going to go to Daniel first. All right, the first verse of Daniel talks about Jacob's trouble. You want to read that? Daniel 12. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So you see the trouble there? Mm -hmm. It says such that as was never since there was a nation. Yeah. Ever. Mm -hmm. This is this is these people are about to go through some. We're talking. You, you got to include the flood of Noah. You got to include Sodom and Gomorrah. You got to include all this stuff that happened in Egypt. You got to include just about everything in the past. And he's saying that this Jacob's trouble is going to be more severe. Maybe not so much on the planet because it's supposed to be on Jacob. It's going to be more severe than any time these people has ever been created. Okay. Now, let's come over to Matthew. We're going to come back to Daniel. I'm going to show you the same thing over here in Matthew. 
All right, look at Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall be. Now, is that the same thing? I think so. That's absolutely the same thing, mm -hmm. right? How can you have two greatest troubles? Right. There's no way to have two greatest troubles. Mm -hmm. Either, you know, either the same thing or one of them actually ain't as great as the other one. Right, one is lesser. One has to be lesser, right. unless they're the same. Yes. And the Bible ain't going to say nothing like one lesser, because that would actually be a mistruth, right? Mm -hmm. So this is absolutely talking about the same Thing. Okay. Lord, yeah, this is this is big. All right, now I'm going to expand out on these verses a little bit. We'll we'll expand out on these verses and let's start up here in Matthew chapter 24 verse 15. Because I'm going to show you another. Con because look what it says. It even mentions the word Daniel there. Read that. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So you have this abomination, this def desolation spoken of by Daniel, mm -hmm. right? Now let's go over here and let's see this abomination that he's talking about. That's down here in verse 11. Read that. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make it desolate set up, there should be a thousand. 290 days. But let's come back to that. Let's go back over to Matthew because here he's talking about the abomination of desolation. But look at what he's talking about next. He's telling them to flee there in verse 16. Yeah, he says, Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. This is telling all of the people who, the Israelites, this is telling the, the people of the nation of Israel, those Hebrews that was back there that had survived after the Messiah's time. He's talking to those Hebrews then. He's telling them people, when you see this abomination of desolation standing in the whole place, get out. Yeah. Leave. It's telling them there in verse 17 and 18, tell them don't look back. Right. Whatever you done left, never, never return to that place. Mm -hmm. But then notice down here, it's saying, for then shall great tribulation, such as was not seen, right? Mm -hmm. So you can make a connection between these two events here. This great tribulation is saying, for then shall be the great tribulation. But if you look at where this is starting from, it started from the abomination of desolation. Right. You see that? Mm -hmm. So to me, from these verses that we see here, it's saying that the, the, this trouble starts with the abomination of desolation. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that's key, right? Mm -hmm. Because watch what happens when we come back over to Daniel. It's talking about this abomination of desolation and it's giving you the certain amount of days or the certain amount of years here. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's talking about a blessing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this has confused me for a while. You know, I've done many classes on this chapter. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've thought about this and thought about this. Why is he saying a blessing here? Because when we calculate these dates out here, it ends up being sometime around January of 2022. Okay. So why is he talking about us receiving a blessing in January of 2022 when we haven't seen the trouble yet? Up until this moment, I have been believing that Jacob's trouble starts with Daniel chapter 12. In fact, I did a video last year on that. Yeah, I, think I believe that. I did a couple. I'm, I, yeah, right there toward the end of uh, 2020, we talked about Jacob's trouble being on the 10th of all. Oh, not the 10th of all, but the 10th day of the 10th month, according to this Daniel chapter 12 prophecy mm -hmm. but why are we receiving a blessing okay. why aren't we receiving a trouble right but here's the thing here we saw in matthew that jacob's trouble starts with what the abomination the abomination of desolation mm -hmm. but here in daniel we could calculate the abomination of desolation to be in 686 a.d mm -hmm. And we can tie that to the Dome of the Rock. Mm -hmm. So the Dome of the Rock is the abomination of desolation. Mm -hmm. And Jacob's trouble started immediately after that. You see the Messiah, the words he used, it, it didn't say years, right. months, mm -hmm. 
days. He didn't even give them minutes. He barely gave them seconds. He said, if you were standing on top of your house, don't even go in your house to get your stuff. Right. You ain't got seconds. That, that You ain't even got a month. You can't even go in your house. You had to go through your house to get to the roof. But yet you about to get out your house, out the city, into the mountains. You gone. You ain't got time. You ain't got time. That ain't no years. It's been over a thousand years since the abomination of desolation. Did the Messiah say we had a thousand years? No, he didn't say we had a thousand seconds. So with this verse, we can prove what is, what is that thing say? QED? Quali qual qual proven by logic that the abomination of desolation was the start of Jacob's trouble and we have been in Jacob's trouble for over a thousand years. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I wait for the butt. Come on, big butt. But <laughs> people are going to say, I'm not in trouble. I'm living my best life. Okay. Now, I'm glad you said that. I'm sure they're going to say something else. But let me, let's start right here. First of all, let's qualify who Jacob's is. Mm -hmm. Do we know who Jacob is? Do we need to get into make this a video about race? Or do we know who Jacob is? Do you think the people know who Jacob is and we need to tell them? Why don't you briefly tell them? Brief. <laughs> well, you got you got to tell them who Jacob. You got plenty of class. Just say direct them to another class. Well, I believe if they don't know who Jacob is by now, they really don't want to know. So let's just talk about some of the troubles that Jacob have experienced since six eighty six. Now, that would have been before what they call the Byzantine Empire or around about the start of the Byzantine Empire. That. Well, that's the Roman Catholics and the Pope and all of those people changing gears to where they really took a hold of what we call now the church. Mm -hmm. And that would have been a time that they started changing the times and changing the laws. Right. It was it was shortly after that, that they actually changed the whole sacred calendar altogether. And I can give up the exact year, but when they changed the entire calendar, what did that do to Israel? Well, it, it threw us off as to making the sacrifices at the correct time. Is that, is that right? You mean feast days? Yeah, the feast days. Yeah. So you have thrown Israel off altogether mm -hmm. from serving and worshiping the father by changing his calendar. Yeah. I would argue that if you are not keeping the days mentioned in Leviticus 23, because that includes Sabbath day too, mm -hmm. you ain't worshiping the father at all. You ain't, you ain't worshiping. Mm -hmm. You play in church. Mm -hmm. I would argue that if you ain't keeping the feast days, you ain't even a child of God. Well, you're a child of God only because you're human, but even Hitler was a child of God in that case. I'm saying that you ain't who he talking about when he talk about his children are going to go to the promised land and live in the kingdom age. You ain't keeping the feast days. You ain't going. Mm -hmm. You're going to be what they call rapture. You're about to go away from here. You're about to fly away. You're going into the spirit where you're going to heaven, mm -hmm. where my grandparents are. Mm -hmm. If you ain't keeping the feast days, you ain't got a shot. Mm -hmm. You agree or disagree? Uh -huh. So here these these Byzantines or the Pope or the, they took the calendar away. They actually killed people who were keeping the calendar, the feast days on the correct day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So name something that would have affected Israel more severe than that before that day. Can't think of not one bigger, worse thing that happened to Israel bigger than them taking the calendar from them. You can't think of one thing. Yeah, it throws off everything. It throws, it, it, I mean, it don't just affect a few people. You have affected the entire race of people when you took their calendar away. Right. You took them from being father's chosen holy people and turn them into what Gentiles. turn them into gentiles you turn them into pagans yeah. by taking the calendar away what worse of a thing has ever happened in all of their history 
Not one single thing can we think of that has happened. Mm -hmm. I said I was going to try to stay calm when I read it, but I'm having a hard time. Then yeah, you are pretty bad. Okay. he changed the times. Then he changed the laws. Right. So now that he established this so-called church and have changed the laws, you have Israel fighting against Israel. You got some of them who are obeying the church, the so-called dominant religion of the day. They're following this, this thing. We're talking about Israel now. Mm -hmm. They're following the Pope saying that we have the law of liberty and they are actually fighting against other Israel who are saying that, no, we're supposed to be keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. So when have you seen in all the, the time of Jacob that they were actually fighting each other? Mm -hmm. When Israel was fighting Israel? Yeah. Well, Jacob, yeah. Israel's fighting Israel. Just only around uh, the kings. Well, yeah, when uh, when uh, Jeroboam and Rehoboam. But you got to remember that which one was the bad guy? Rehoboam. Rehoboam did the same thing when he actually took them away from the feast days and had them celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles a month later. He right. changed it to the eighth month. So that's similar. That was actually what they would call a... Um, what they call it, where, where it's kind of a living parable that he changed the feast days and ended up having the two groups fighting against each other. Mm -hmm. But how long did that last? Mm -hmm. And did they really fight? No. They I just kind of separated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they're pitted against each other to the point where there actually have been deaths involved. People have actually killed each other over this whether we're supposed to be keeping the commandments or not. Mm -hmm. Israel killing Israel mm -hmm. has never happened in all of history, but it's happened since 685. Then you get into more modern times where now we've scattered Israel. We've gotten away from Israel. Israel don't really exist with as far as we know except for the one tribe that we can identify nowadays. Mm -hmm. But look at what's all happened to them. These people were put on ships yeah. and floated away to a whole nother country right. and made slaves out of yes. with iron yokes about their necks. Their mm -hmm. families were torn up. Uh, they were scattered. Um, just everything that did run me here. Said that would happen. Think about the time that they were driven into Babylon. Which one is worse? For the, the Babylon besiegement, where they took them into Babylon, they, they starved them out for a, a long period of time, and think about 40 days they had to go without food, and people ended up being captured, and then they drove them into Egypt, where they served in Egypt, I mean, in Babylon for 70 years. Compare that to the African slave. Mm -hmm. Which one is worse? I would say, um, I don't know. Okay. You got 70 years of slavery versus 400 years of slavery. Oh, okay. You got walking into Babylon versus being floated away on a slave ship. Yeah. You got being there um, in, the, in the place just living under their rulership versus being a slave with an iron yoke about your neck being whipped. Right. Which one is worse? Yeah. Can you point to another slavery in all of Jacob's trouble, in all of Jacob's history? So what's happened to the American slave? Can you come? What in Jacob's history was worse than that? I agree. Can you, we can't, you agree that we can't find anything that was worse than the American slave before 685. With those was, three, huh? I was just going to say, I'm having a hard time finding something. Anything. That was before 6, 683.05. What did you say? Uh, uh, 686. 686. The Dome of the Rock. Right. And then look what happened to the American slave while they was in slavery when you think about Willie Lynch and what he did to the race. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually pitting the family against the family. The wife against the husband and the child against the father. 
I was listening to this documentary where it was talking about, um, you know, we know that a lot of things happen to the slaves. You know, Willie Lynch is only a part of it, but how they actually, you know, uh, the slave owners would go in and I guess what the word called sodom, sodom, sodomize the, the adult men, mm. they actually have sex with the adult men and, mm. and, and make like make them like you taking their masculinity from them and stuff like that. Castrating them. Well, castrating was one of them, making them eunuchs, and they used the eunuchs to work in the big house. But they would actually, uh, actually just have, treat them like yeah, women. Treat, have intercourse with the man to take his masculinity from him to let him know that he he was nothing. So a lot of stuff happened that you know that was that was an abomination if they would have happened over in the. Um, so so as, as bad as you think about it. but so you can't point to anything worse no. but this ain't just about the black man right because like we said jacob is all of the races no. so now let's look at the people who wanted to be like jacob mm -hmm. talking about the jewish community that's what ish mean they want to be like yeah. Jew. these people have found the bible somehow and are reading it and trying to obey the commandments mm -hmm. actually like like just they did in in Asia time they've become they, they became jews mm -hmm. but look what happened to them yeah all of them people that hitler killed over there yeah. gassing them can we point to so so they was obviously jacob right mm -hmm. so can we point to any event in the history before 685 that was more severe than the holocaust okay I nothing now what these are the people who just trying to be like jacob so what you're saying is once you pick up that law expect to start going through the oh you're gonna go start going through the trouble yeah that's going yeah that's always going to happen yeah like we were talking about earlier but what i'm saying here big picture now is that we have been in jacob's trouble since 686 you can't i, I mean i got a i got a list here that we got we could talk about how the Gentiles have taken the Bible, our scripture mm -hmm. that we carried all of them years. Mm -hmm. They have taken it and now they are preaching it back to us. Yeah. Yeah. Blaspheming yeah. our father in, in our faces. And we, we accept it. And, ha and like we were talking about earlier, since Israel is pitted against each other, you got half of them that are accepting it and are actually coming against their brethren and saying, you are wicked for obeying the commandments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. these, these ain't just pagans like it was in the Roman Empire. These are fellow Hebrews. These are people who are claiming the name of the Father at war against those who are keeping the commandments, firing them from jobs and making sure and, and, and actually turning against their family members and 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 ostracizing people and you know calling them demons and all and all kinds of stuff going on from within the group yeah. all while the gent the pagans sit there collecting the money that was supposed to go to pay for their priests to teach them the truth they are taking that money and building temples and and vaticans and all of this other stuff as they continue and, and use this money as they continue to convert the majority of Judah over to paganism, turn them into pagans, turn them into Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Can you point to anything? Can you point to any time in history where somebody came and took the Bible, the scripture out of their hands and then start teaching them a false religion using their own scripture? Mm -hmm. Never in history have you seen so that one event right there by itself is worse than just about everything you could think of and in, in all, all they all they, they, what, what did israel go through they had to go out in the desert and eat manna for four. what did they go through they were they was in slavery for 70 what did they go through what 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 kind of trouble was israel what kind of trouble was israel in i'm trying to think you know well what did they go through they walked around like kings they had all of the money they had all of the cattle you know it was only when when they you know, started slipping that they end up in Babylon, but then after the Babylon, they left and built a whole nother temple. Yeah, you know, you, you sort of think that their hardest days was when they went to go through somebody else's land and they said, no, you can't go through our land and they had to walk a few extra miles. A few extra miles. Other than that, 
Now, other than that, Egypt, Egypt is about the worst thing that you could think of. But even that slavery period didn't last but, you know, a few years. It was like that once that one Pharaoh that was really hard on him, all the other Pharaohs, you know, was nice to him. Yeah, because we have to remember, though, they tell us otherwise, they went in there as free men. Free men and level luck. Had their own land. They had their own city. Goshen was their their land. Yeah. And their, with their cattle. They had millions and millions of head of cattle. Mm -hmm. And when they walked out, they walked. So, we can't think. And, and let me see what else on my list. So, out of all of this list here. Not one thing, and, and this is not an exhaustive list. I, I basically wrote this down when I was in the bathroom. I basically wrote this down a few minutes ago. But out of all this little short list, we can't think of anything that they actually went through that competes anywhere close to anything on this list. Right. So we have absolutely been in the days of Jacob's trouble. Jacob has been in trouble. So what this is saying over here, you know, so that's the big revelation. That's the big voila. But but then look what this is saying over here in verse 12. We've been in Jacob's trouble in verse 11. We're expecting this blessing that is talking about in verse 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he that waited and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's one thousand three hundred and thirty five years after 686. OK. And what year is that? That's 2022. Well, so I don't know. I believe we. I believe I. I. I'm, I. I brought you in to see if you could actually, you know, argue against it. And I'm sure the people out there in 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 the in the uh, uh viewing world, maybe they got an argument they can make, you know, for it or against it or whatever in the comment section. But I believe we are in Jacob's trouble. We we've been in Jacob's trouble for a while. All right, guys. Well, I don't know. I think we're gonna be talking about this some more. But y'all tell us what y'all think down in the comment section. Yeah, it would be interesting to find out if they agree or disagree. And we invite all who would disagree to put a comment down in the comment section and let's chat about it. You know, if I'm wrong on this, then I'd like to know. Oh. Yeah. And, you know, of course, you're going to ask for scripture. To oh, yeah. This is Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've shown scripture here that supports this idea. We've proved it at the beginning of the video. That's why we went through it like that. Mm -hmm. So now show me scripture that disproves it. And with that, we're going to close it out. Shalom. Shalom.